Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And uh, let's take a closer look at this Klein Tools Dual IR um, probe thermometer. What this thing is, is basically two different kinds of thermometers. Um, yeah, on one side, I'll come back to that. On one side, uh, we've got a actual stainless probe that can be used for liquids, um, surface, you know, or inserting into heating ducts and air conditioning vents, things like that. And then on the other side, it's got a standard or traditional infrared sensor with a red laser. So you can point it at something and it will give you uh, the temperature. There's uh, Fahrenheit and obviously if I hold both buttons down, I can change it into Celsius. Um, I'll change it back into American here. Some people call those freedom units. I call them stubborn units. I think the metrics is easier to use. But uh, what do we got? A couple of features. One, um, obviously the scanning is nice, so you can move it over an area. And the reason that's important is so you can find uh, the warmest or the coldest spot um, not necessarily where the laser is pointing, but um, it gives you that range. You can also do minimum, maximum, and if you want to do great or you want to do the difference, uh, the delta basically, what I can do is I'll take a, a T1 and a T2 measurement here. So uh, first of all, I'll push this. It's, it's wanting the T1 measurement, so I'll scan my hand there. I've got 82.7 here, and then I'll push it and it wants the T2. I'll go ahead and hit my work table here. It's 57. And then when I hit it again, you can see the difference there is 25.3. Or if I do that backwards, um, I'm going to turn it on and off here just by opening and closing this. This is designed so you don't have to touch this because that could throw off your measurement if you have to physically touch it. Um, so it has this little kind of release um, grippy surface there. But anyway, so I'm gonna turn it on here. I'll run it backwards this time. So I'm gonna go T1 uh, here and T2 is my hand. And then when I ask what the difference is, you can see it's minus 30. Um, is the difference between this tabletop and my hand. It's a cold shop. What is my shop right now? Um, let me uh, undo this thing. I haven't figured out how you, how you turn that on and off as fast, but go ahead and turn this. Whoops, turn it on so you can see. So I've got 58 right in this area. Uh, now I've got a bunch of different Klein and other uh, temperature probes. Um, so why would I need this one here? This is about 50 bucks. It runs on two AA batteries. Let me go over the range here, or the uh, specs. Uh, what you're looking at is uh, minus 40 to 572 uh, measuring surface. Um, with the infrared, or you can measure uh, air movement, duct temperatures, you can measure water. They call it a hanging hook, and what they're talking about here is, is if, let's say I've got louvers like in a ductwork, that I could insert that and just leave it hanging into the, um, the vent, and then I'd be able to watch what's going on, because it does, um, does work, if you look at that, in... Um, kind of a scan mode for this probe. It isn't, you don't have to hold a button down. So that's actually good. And then if you use the minimum and maximum, you can actually, uh, you know, say head to another location and run the, run the unit or whatever, make the adjustment and then come back and see what it was. Um, the other things here, you can calculate the T1, T2, T2 difference, uh, min, max, low, ba low battery. And it's supposed to be pretty durable. Um, I think this was rated can't remember, IPX uh, or IP54, two meter drop, which there's probably a good chance I'm gonna drop it. I don't know if it'll be two meters, but um, I might drop it. And why I ended up with this is because I really like this one. This is uh, has both the non-contact voltage um, and the IR, and I use this IR quite often, but that's all it is. Um, and I had picked this thing up, which actually allows you to do uh, contact 
Um, this is a non-contact, so this with the infrared, excuse me. Um, this is contact, um, and it also allows me to do some duct work, uh, AC and um, hot water and um, uh, the furnace. But um, I, I ended up using both of these, um, and I thought, well, it'd be kind of fun, you know, run a tool channel, might as well try this stuff, to check out this Klein one, because this seems to be a solution to walking around with a combination of things. And then sometimes I use my thermal couple here, as I used when I did my glove review. I, um, so I, I do like being able to measure um, the temperature. And the other day, I, it was really cold, and I wanted to know outside, you know, what it was like um, in different environments, inside the truck, outside the truck, uh, inside the garage, and then this gave me all of those without having to go find a surface and, and click on it and hope that that surface was representative of what was actually going on. So I do like this thing. Um, it's actually really similar to a barbecue meat thermometer I got um, for somebody as a gift for Christmas. Um, I don't know, I assume you could use it for that. And uh, obviously the laser pointer can be used um, as a laser pointer, um, just to point things out. A lot of these do have laser pointers, um, this one here is a 12 to 1. This is an 8 to 1 here. Um, and that's the expansion ratio. You know, uh, you can see here uh, to give you an idea of the uh, diameter. So this would be 8 to 1, whereas this is 12 to 1. Um, and if you look at this, uh, it's standard Klein build. It's got some grippy texture, no rubberized surfaces, bright orange, which is great. I don't see a lanyard hole on that. That's another thing I would like to see is a, is a way to connect it to something. A lot of people, uh, I imagine, throw it back in the little included case that it comes in, but, um, you know, I guess that's great if that's, if you've got the room for throwing another case, uh, but it'd be nice if I could just attach it to something so it didn't disappear. But anyway, uh, these sell for about 50 bucks, um, which is more than the smaller ones like this, and uh, it's in the range of getting a non-contact voltage one here. I think this was in the 30s. Um, these are more, uh, but they also have a greater range. This one goes up to 752. Now you might be thinking, why do I need 500 degrees? I think that was what the what this thing went to here, 572 degrees. Well, if you're used to working on natural gas appliances and you've got um, you know, traditional in-code specifications on the build, then you probably are fine with, with that. But if you're working with uh, wood heating um, or any kind of a blower on a wood um, system, you can really generate some pretty high temperatures and it may the, the areas may not have been installed correctly. Uh, you might have ductwork too close to flammable material, things like that. So it's really nice to have uh, some pretty high ends, so you can follow it up uh, from the actual combustion source on up without losing the losing the temperature rating or having to having to have it come down. Because if you're out of the temperature rating, uh, you don't know by how much. You just know you're out of range. But anyway, this is overall a, uh, a solid little little unit. Klein did a good job with this. Klein, I still haven't received my. Um, my penelope screw from you. Please get on that. Um, and uh, as you're building out your temperature um, kits, I guess, your temperature tools, um, you know, don't overlook this one because I think for the price it actually fits in quite well with, um, with the Klein line. Seems like a good deal um, versus, you know, 100 bucks or I can't remember what these are, 60 bucks. I think this got down to 30, but you get a lot more here for 50. Um, and if you need non-contact voltage, I haven't figured out why Klein does the, the non-contact voltage. Um, their set of choices. This one's got the infrared temperature. I also have a flashlight um, and I've got ones with other features and it's like, I, I would just like one with everything. So if they put like non-contact voltage and a flashlight on this guy, yeah, now we'd be talking, but anyway, in case you're wondering, that's what this is. It's the IR07 Klein Tools um, IR Probe Thermometer. And with that, dock out.